Today's Tuesday, May 15th, 2018. Let's take a look at the news. Dailymail.co.uk. North Korea threatens to cancel nuclear summit with Trump because it believes provocative military ruckus of joint U.S.-South Korea drills are rehearsal for invasion. So I think this is um, hype. He's a little nervous, a little scared. He doesn't strike me as a balanced, peaceful individual, uh, but I'm sure everything's going to be fine. CNBC.com. Two surgeons in China developing a method to transplant a human head. Italian scientist Sergio Canavero and Chinese surgeon Jinping Ren are developing a plan to transplant a human head right down to neck bolts and electricity. I saw this in a movie when I was a kid. I think it was called... I want to transplant my head on a healthy body. I think I like to donate my body to science after all. So they transplanted the white head onto the black body. Who would have suspected that neither would care for the idea too much? What are you guys doing to me? Shut up. Find something else to do, Sergio and Xiaoping. Bloomberg.com, look at what's going to happen to Sweden's fabled welfare state. Sweden's got a major supply and demand problem. They say they need about a quarter of a million workers in order to pay for the welfare state. I, I mean, they, they didn't think of that when they were bringing in millions of people that were just going to milk the system for welfare? Of course they did. It's called destruction. TheRap.com, Facebook disabled one billion fake accounts in the last year. And just so in just one year, they, they removed a billion fake accounts. We already know what these accounts were for. It was to win the election, and it didn't work, trying to get Hillary elected. They've already announced that they were targeting liberals, making them feel depressed, making them feel afraid, specifically making them feel afraid of conservatives and patriots. And the way they did that was probably with these billions of fake accounts. And so people are on Facebook and they think they're interacting. They think they're going along with what everyone else is doing. That's what's happening right now with the mainstream media. Television, the way it's produced with studio audiences and laugh tracks and cueing people into applause, it's all fake. Our simple ego minds want to be popular. We want to do what everyone else is doing, especially if we don't particularly care about a subject like politics. A lot of people don't care about politics. I just recently took an interest later in life. And so if you don't care about it, you're going to want to basically do what everyone else is doing. What You, you probably don't want to admit that, but we all do. We all want to be popular. And so if Facebook can create a billion fake accounts to make everyone think that here, here's a billion people that all feel this way. The good news is that we're, we're waking up right now. Some of us are, and it's profound. The importance of vigilance in this world, which is really what the act of meditation is all about. It's not, meditation isn't so that you can sit there and look like you're really holy and have people look up to you. Meditation is so that eventually you don't have to sit. Eventually you can go about your business being vigilant and aware of everything. And then you can really get things done and no one's going to pull the wool over your eyes because you're going to see it. You're going to be looking and paying attention, in my humble opinion. And so Q posting a frenzy. Q's mentioned it before in the past, but what Q's really getting to now is, is honing in on something that I think might be the thing that turns it all around. You see, there was a big conversation going on in the Q boards basically about um, time period. How are these arrests going to be made? It was talking about you got to clean the FBI, then you got to put all these judges in there, you got to do it's going to be years before uh, you could actually round these people up and arrest them. In response to that, Q reminded us that the target date is November 11th of this year, suggesting that by then there will be a military parade and the majority of all of this big stuff is going to be sorted by then to the point where it's we're ready for a celebration. And then Q pointed out said in order for that to happen, what needs to happen? So basically, Q is suggesting that it's not going to take years. It's going to be sorted in the next few months. And it was suggesting that it, a big card is going to obviously have to be played in order for that to happen. Because we're, we're at that point where a lot of, say, for example, people that still support the Democrats and the liberals, they don't care about treason. They hardly even care about treason. So you bring up a crimes of treason and they'll still be like, ah, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Um, so what could that one big thing be? What it's pointing out all is the Huma Abedin laptop, the damning evidence that 
apparently involves Hillary Clinton and an underage child. And so Q is pointing out to things like who knows where the bodies are buried, referring to General Flynn again. General Flynn is knows about this laptop. Rudy Giuliani, who's now on the team, knows about this evidence. Eric Prince knows about this evidence. Eric Prince from Blackwater. And there's a link from Q to a Breitbart audio interview with Eric Prince from uh, days before the election, 2016, where Eric Prince is talking about the uh, evidence, the laptop evidence. The basic story is is the, the laptop was taken when Anthony Weiner was being investigated for the sexting thing. That's how the NYPD got their hands on the laptop. The big thing is apparently there's a video file on there that shows Huma and Hillary and an underage child and horrific abuse. But the NYPD said that if the FBI doesn't do anything about it, then they will. They, you know, they made that public. They're like, do the right thing or we will. We have copies. Apparently, these, a lot of these grown men in law enforcement got physically sick and cried when they saw it. And so uh, the interview with Eric Prince from about a year ago is saying the same thing. Q is posting nothing but things pointing to this laptop and everyone involved in it. And in the public internet fray, truepundit.com, DC FBI insiders fear General Flynn might take a flamethrower to this town before he is done. And that's exactly what this article is pointing to, is that now General Flynn seems to be more of a free man than he was before. And he seems to be now be given a voice where he's going to speak. And um, this is what he has to speak about. There's a few people that can speak about this, but the evidence obviously is gonna speak lo the loudest. But like I said, this is all like a theater. So I guess this is how it's done. It's done in a certain way so that we, the audience, those of us who are fortunate enough to be sitting at home, comfort and health and watch this unbelievable historical time in America. It's amazing. I will see you tomorrow, but you should take the time to go and look for the new Flow White video. I've actually gone through the trouble of putting a link to it right down there, right under the video, right under the Patreon link, which is also where you'll be able to find these videos from now on. You can bookmark that Patreon link. I'll be putting these videos there every day until I figure out a more permanent place. We're doing a lot of upgrades. We're gonna be putting a green screen behind us. I still don't know how that's gonna work. And, uh, but the Q Anonymous video is worth a good laugh. Please check it out and share it with your friends. It's right down there. See you tomorrow.